Welcome to game day at Lambeau Field. There's a sea of fans, a few bands, and tailgating as far as the eye can see. But before any fans come marching in, it's game on for Alan Johnson. I tell people all the time, I'm a farmer, and I'm growing a crop, just happens to be for a football team. Alan is the Green Bay Packers field manager. He's responsible for one of the most iconic pieces of sports turf in America. You think about what you do is seen for three hours on TV by millions of people, so there's a lot of pressure. It's best not to think about it. All right, come on. There's a lot fans might not think about when it comes to this homegrown Packers pasture. The big day is the day before. Me and my crew are painting the field and getting in ready. The field crew paints every letter, every NFL logo, and every hash mark every week the Packers play at home. Despite using 145 gallons of paint, their artwork doesn't last long on this canvas that stretches the length of a football field. It takes a five-man crew an entire day to repaint perfection, and each season that canvas is new. Every spring on Lambeau Field, we actually kill off the grass and remove it mechanically with a machine, then we have to grow that back in from seed. If we let the grass get too mature and too thick, it'll be harder for those cleats to break through that grass canopy and sink in where the good footing is. Another little known fact, Lambeau Field is based on a synthetic and natural turf perfected overseas. All the soccer in Europe, the soccer fields in the Premier League are this type of system. They're high performing field. We are the only field with this type of system. Everything is dictated by the weather, because it's sand, you gotta pay attention to the water. We have another technology that we utilize uh, and it really came in handy when we expanded to the south part of the stadium. They're grow lights and we fold the arms out and it helps extend our growing season. We are unique in the sense that we are a natural grass field, probably the northernmost land latitude. The devices you see out there, one measures the amount of light that we're getting down in the field. The other device measures soil temperature, soil moisture, pretty much everything else we need to know. Weather also plays into the legend and lore. Our growing season is pretty short, is shorter than the rest, and obviously more bitterly cold. And the term frozen tundra is a bit of a misnomer these days, because the field is actually heated. If you were to take everything away, you'd see a maze of tubing. And it's just circulating antifreeze, and we can adjust the temperature of this thermostat. And about the rumor that the Packers can change the field temperature to favor the home team? Impossible to change the temperature of the field that quick. It's like the temperature of Lake Michigan. It takes hours to change that temperature. Allen has weathered many storms with the Packers, and it began with a post-it note on a jobs board. Literally a sticky note that said temporary construction. I had no idea what it was about. I quit my job the next day. And despite not having any experience, 19 seasons later, that job on a post-it note turned out pretty well for Alan. It's a really, really good fit for me and my personality. I love the freedom the Packers give me a lot of responsibility. It's my job to make it good. It represents the team. It represents the community of Green Bay. I'm fussing and fidgeting over that crop to make it as perfect as I can. it can be. It's just not grow it, you know, plant it and forget it and whatever happens. You're always monkeying with it all the time. It's got to be the best it can all the time. And ask this farmer what makes his grass prairie special, and he'll give you a green and gold answer. It's because it's Packer turf. That's why it's special. <laughs> Go, Packers!